Hi, so today I want to talk about a topic related to body image and this topic in particular is something that I've been feeling very much like I want to add something to the conversation and that is to talk about how to comment on someone's body or perhaps put more accurately why I think that we shouldn't ever. This is something that I think we have all experienced in our lives, but maybe have never really taken the time to think about how we can shift this experience to support the mental health of ourselves and of other people in our lives. Body image is an issue that's nearly impossible to avoid. For women especially, but ultimately for people of all gender identifications, we've been given feedback about our bodies since, basically since we were born. Especially in first world countries, we live in a society where this is simply part of the culture. There are countless industries that are built upon the foundation that we, as we are, are not good enough. If we were, we wouldn't need their products. So what I want to talk about is how can we combat this? How can we show up for one another to change the conversation about this? Ultimately, how can we promote a positive body image? What's the best way to comment on someone's body? My answer to this might be controversial. And although I'm open, totally open, to hearing other people's opinions on it and making this a discussion, I currently stand very strongly in the opinion that we do not benefit from commenting on other people's bodies. Or our own, for that matter. And this includes compliments. When you comment on someone's body, you're sending them the message that that's where your attention is going. So it further deepens this notion that what we look like is part of our worth or value. And that we are more valuable or worthy if we look a certain way. I personally remember one of the first times that someone ever commented on my body and I really thought about it. Um, I was, I don't know, 10 or 11 years old and I was at gymnastics practice and I'd had a growth spurt over the summer. I'd grown like a full inch or two. And I remember my gymnastics coach saying something about it. And um, basically, I remember the phrase he said, you've thinned out. And he said it like it was a positive thing. And to me, as a kid, like, I wasn't thinking about, about it in that way. I was thinking, oh, I've grown an inch or two, like I'm taller. Like that was the extent of it. I wasn't thinking about how me being taller was being affected by the weight distribution. And I remember going home and standing in front of our full length mirror, which I mean, as a child, I don't think I ever stood in front of full length mirrors. Like there was no need to. I picked out the clothes that I thought, you know, were fun and that I liked the design of, but didn't think about like, oh, what does this look like on me, on my body? I just picked out what I like and wore it. So it's funny, I am just realizing that thinking back now that like, that might have been, you know, I mean, as we get older, we use full length mirrors all the time. But as a kid, it was like, you know, never. But anyways, so I got home and I remember standing in front of the mirror and looking at my body and thinking, oh yeah, like, I guess I am thinner and just looking at my body in a way that I hadn't ever done before. It's easy to see why making a negative comment about someone's weight or someone having, you know, pimples on their skin or something like that would be harmful. But ultimately, all comments about our physical body end up being harmful. Our body is not some stagnant thing. We're always in flux. We're going to have periods where we weigh more or weigh less. We age, our skin is going to wrinkle and sag as we get older. We're going to get a bad haircut or whatever it is. This body is not a permanent structure. It's going to go through ebbs and flows. If you compliment someone on their weight, it can become something that they feel like they need to maintain in order to stay beautiful. And the idea of losing that thing can be terrifying. And Terrifying might seem like an extreme word to use, but I actually don't feel like it is. I mean, it's not the same level of terrifying as realizing, you know, waking up in the middle of night, the night and realizing that there's a burglar in your house and you're like freaking out about it or something, like your life is in danger. Um, but feeling like 
you might lose your value or your worth is actually truly terrifying. The way that it weighs on you day in and day out, even your subconscious mind, if you aren't even realizing that your thoughts are going in that cyclic way, really does have a negative effect on your life. And it really is awful. A lot of times the severity of the effects of these thoughts going through our minds and these things that we have placed on ourselves in order to maintain a certain body shape or body size, often we don't realize how much they've been weighing on us and slowly eroding our well-being over time until we look back in retrospect. And even beyond that, commenting on someone's body doesn't just affect them. They have their own mental experience of that, but it also affects you. It affects the person who is putting out that comment because that means that that's where your attention is going. When you comment on someone's body, it deepens your neural pathways that one, tell you that the shape or size of someone's body gives them value. And number two, you train your attention to first notice someone's appearance and then analyze it. By challenging yourself to look for other things in someone, you train your brain, as they say, to pick up on different things and put your attention elsewhere. If I were to ask you why you love your best friends or your family members, I'm absolutely certain that none of the reasons you would give me would have anything to do with the shape of their body or their weight or what their skin looks like. We know deep down that these things aren't important. But when we comment on people's bodies, we send the message that they are. And this cognitive dissonance hurts everyone. It might seem like a small thing, but ultimately it ends up really large. As I'm sure you might have experienced in your own life, a single sentence can change the way that someone looks at herself, talks to herself, and views herself. In a single day, I have been both praised and shamed for my body. I remember feeling so confused and just really feeling almost like I wanted to be invisible. Because even though at first one felt good, ultimately both were just as destructive. Both told me, you are being judged by the shape and size of your body. And it's so interesting. Even comments that you might think are compliments can come off completely differently to someone. For instance, if someone has been dealing with anorexia and they're trying to gain weight in order to get healthy, even if they ultimately know deep down that this is healthy for them, they might still be dealing with body dysmorphia or just adjusting to living in a new body shape. And if someone says, oh, you look healthy, that can really set them back. And again, it just puts this idea, it puts, it sends the message that when I see you, the first thing I notice is your body. And that just doesn't feel good. So ultimately what I'm trying to say here is that the best way to comment on someone's body is to not comment at all. Think about something else to say about them. Notice someone's brilliance, their intelligence, the way they make you laugh, the way they make you feel as a human. There is so much more to see in all of us beyond our skin. I know you know this, but it's time to start practicing it. Big love, guys.